the arc length formula which is stated right here in the middle we're going to go over one example which is find the exact length of the curve y equals ln cosine x where x goes from 0 to pi over 3 which is equivalent to 60 degrees let's get started to find the exact length we need to use a formula and we're going to go from 0 to pi over 3 which is 60 degrees the formula is L equals the integral from A to B of the square root 1 plus dy over dx to the second with respect to x if our function is written as x as a function of y we will have dx dy and we'll do the integration with respect to y but in this case we're going with uh, x as a variable now before we use the formula let's work on the side and see what we could simplify what's inside the square root y equals len cosine x so dy dx equals 1 over cosine x times the derivative of cosine x which is negative sine x I'm using the chain rule it's like 1 over u times du or u prime this simplifies to minus 10x now what's inside is 1 plus the derivative square so to do this right here we will work on the side on this part and finish it 1 plus dy dx to the second equals 1 plus minus 10x to the second which is the negative sign cancels 1 plus 10 square x and that is secant square x but if I apply the square root I get the square root of secant square and that is just secant x so now the length is from a to b a is 0 and b is pi over 3 and the square root inside simplify to secant x dx and the integration of secant is len secant x plus tan x of course we need to apply the limits that goes from 0 to pi over 3 now we have len secant pi over 3 plus tan pi over 3 subtract len secant 0 plus tan 0 equals len secant pi over 3 is 1 over cosine 60 and cosine 60 is half so that will be 2 1 over half the reciprocal of half tan pi over 3 is rad 3 and 
secant 0 is 1 over cosine 0. Cosine 0 is 1. So that's going to give me 1. And tan 0, of course, is 0. We don't need the absolute values anymore. So it's len 2 plus rad 3 minus len 1. And len 1 is 0 because the graph goes this way for len. It goes through 1. So what's the final answer? E equals len 2 plus rad 3. That is my final answer. And that should do it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.